The 1800s brought a whole new era for gin and distillation. This was the period of a newfound respectability for gin. The birth of the modern cocktail, an old Tom Gin, with many of London streets housing opulent and often glamorous establishments. This was otherwise known as the birth of the Gin Palace. The gin that fueled the gin craze was heavy, sweet and viscous, rather like a modern-day Dutch Old Geneva. Moving into the 19th century, the two-column still, or continuous still, was first invented. This allowed a more pure base spirit to be made, gently enhanced with different botanical mixes to produce a lighter, drier and more subtle style of gin. At the beginning of the 19th century, whilst other ranks drank the traditional navy drink of rum, Gin became the drink of the officers, particularly Plymouth gin. Mixing gin with a daily dose of lime juice taken to prevent scurvy gave birth to the classic navy drink, the gimlet. Wherever the navy went, they took gin with them. In the 1870s, Jacob Schwepp made a carbonated water with quinine from the bark of the Indian cinchona tree. This is yet another medicinal application in the story of gin as quinine is the active ingredient in the prevention of malaria. The ever-popular gin and tonic was born. Hurrah! You win! <laughs> yes! While the 19th century saw the popularity of the gin and tonic soar, other gin drinks also became classics of our time. Cocktails like the White Lady, the Hanky Panky, <laughs> the Martini, and the Gimlet. <laughs>